Lesson 6, we're going to implement inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation in C-sharp. We're going to reuse what we did in Lesson 1, 3, and 5. So it's, it's a prerequisite that, that you go back and do those three lessons before starting this one. We're going to add a child grid view to a Windows form using C-sharp. We're going to modify and reuse the product list class from Lesson 5 to, to implement inheritance. We're going to create a get company size discount method passing it the product class to, sh to show polymorphism. And we're going to implement public, protected, and private. In part one, we're going to add a child grid view to Windows form using C Sharp. We're going to reuse product table on the enterprise database. We're going to reuse logic from lesson five with the company data access component. And we're going to populate the child grid view based on a parent grid view selection. So the first thing you want to do is open your, your Windows Explorer Copy Lesson 3 and paste it into the same directory. Then rename it to Lesson 6. In Visio Studio, let's open File, Open, Project Solution, and Lesson 6. Let's go save our lesson three as lesson six. And let's rename the solution to lesson six as well. Let's open our form one and the properties. And let's rename, put the text to lesson six. And let's rename the form to lesson six. Go update our namespaces. Let's go to the company DAC. Call this lesson six. Let's go to the connection manager. This lesson six. Let's go into form one. Right click and view code. This lesson six. And then in our program, lesson six. And in the add modify company form, we need to change the namespace as well. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup real quick. Uh, right click on, lesse on lesson six and add a new folder. Let's call it data access. And let's move our company data access in our connection manager in there. Let's go open our form. Let's make a couple a couple changes to make it look a little bit better. Let's go with company list. And as well, let's add another label here. Let's, it says filter on there, so we know that's what that does. And at the same time, let's let's add another grid view, our child grid view. Let's add another label, so at a later point we can write a message to it. Let's put it here. I'm just going to put a period in there. So let's go add the product list class to, that we created in Lesson 5. Go, go where you saved your, your, your Lesson 5. You notice we created this product list class in an ASP.NET application, and we're reusing it in a Windows Form application. We need to go get the, the get company products function from the lesson five from the company data access component. So go where you save your, your lesson five company data access component and scroll down until you get that function in. 
copy it. And then in your in the lesson six one, open that up and paste it in there. And then we need to add our collections library. So using system dot collections dot generic. Let's change the, the namespace in the product list to six. In our parent grid view, let's go create a cell click method. Change it to here. Let's add the following code to it. String company ID equals data grid view one dot rows open bracket e dot row index close bracket dot cells open bracket zero close bracket dot value dot two string to try list product list product list equals company dag dot get company product information and let's pass it company ID. So data grid view two dot data source equals product list. Catch Label three dot text equals error. Let's go back to our form and in the clicked of our data grid two cell click, let's add this code date time creation date equals date time dot parse data grid v2 dot rows open bracket e dot row index close bracket dot cells open bracket three dot value dot two string Another ver another date time variable, call it current date. Date time dot now. The string part ID equals data grid v two dot rows open bracket e dot row index close bracket dot cells open bracket zero, close bracket, dot value, dot two string. Product list, PL, equal new product list with no parameters, and int product age equals PL dot get part age creation date current date so label three dot text equals product part ID so just trim it just to make sure it looks good plus is product age dot two string plus days old 